Hello my friends and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. We have started the nullability section and we have talked about nullability. Now let's check for a null. It's all well and good that nullables exist, but you may be wondering how you can look inside the box and manipulate the value it contains. In some limited cases, you just use a nullable as if it were a non-null type. Take a look that if we have create a variable called uh, result, and this result would be of containing an integer and having an exclamation mark here, setting that it is a null, a value of nullable. And if we print ln result this will make things happen and we have print 30 correctly now there is one another um, thing about this if we add plus one what we will do there is an error here if we zoom in, operator call correspond to a to a dot qualified call result dot plus one, which is not allowed on a nullable receiver result. Okay. It does not work because you are trying to add an integer to a box and not a value inside the box, but to the box itself that does not make sense if we remove this we are setting that var as a result is equal to a normal value normal variable of type n and 30 and if we print now it will result in 31 but if we are adding this exclamation mark here saying that for the nullable and it is preventing us from making this okay now let's learn about the not nullable assertion operator the error message gives an indication of the solution it tells you that the nullable is still inside the box you need to remove the value from its box. It's like Christmas. Okay. So we are making a box here and we need to extract the value from it and add one to it. How to do so? If we make val value or uh, if I need to add one to it, I, may, I make a variable uh, result plus one is equal is an integer in and here equal sorry equal to a result does not equal two times this is the operator not null or assertion operator plus one and now I need to print result plus one variable what we have done here is using this not null assertion operator okay the double exclamation mark after the variable name tells the compiler that you want to look inside the box and take out the value the result is a value of a non-null type. This means that results plus one is a type of int and not int exclamation mark. The use of word assertion and the exclamation marks probably convoys a sense of danger to you and it should. Okay, so you should use not null assertion sparingly. To see why, consider what happens when you the nullable does not contain a value. So, if we have var result, 
equal to null and I'm trying here to add one to it okay there is an error and if I need to print result directly so uh, result your result is variable result okay let's run and see is equal to null but if I put here like this and I make does not equal to null plus one I'm adding to the result plus one there is an error here okay so let's run and see there is a null pointer exception telling us because the variable contain no value when you try to use it that's worse is that you get this exception at runtime rather than the compile time this is for the compiling time uh, for the for use when using the ide intellij but if you have a pointer a, a, a result here like equal to null and we didn't assert it we didn't try to assert it we and check it for the nullability it will be making and causing runtime error okay so this will lead to null pointer exception how to make this by using the smart cast we are going to learn more about nobility in the next videos